Hey everybody, guess where I went today? I went to Adventures in Prospecting in Oroville, California today. This is the guy's business card. Uh, the owner of the shop, his name is Joey Wilson. Let's see if I can't get a better picture of that up here at the end of the video, or I'll uh, add this in the have his link in the descriptions of my video. Anyways, if you guys are ever in Northern California, up around the Oroville area, uh, I know some of my local subscribers, they, they know where I'm talking about. Um, Y'all gotta go in there and check this guy's shop out. Man, he is just, he's got so much cool stuff. Everything from prospecting, metal detecting, he's got anything and everything that you would need to be successful in this hobby. Uh, I mean, it, I could have spent hours in his shop. It's not a real big shop, but I could have spent hours in there just wandering around and looking at all the cool stuff he's got. I mean, he's got endless books and all kinds of information, maps, all kinds of cool stuff. Anyways, if you guys are ever in the area, be sure to check him out. Uh, I went there today, and when I, I left out of there, um, I ended up walking out with wait for it this guy got the mine lab equinox series handbook uh, this is by Andy Savish it is um, it's a it's basically a mine lab equinox Bible if you will it's gonna tell you anything and everything that you need to know about the equinox series the 600 and the 800 series detectors Anyways, I picked that up from his shop, and the reason that I picked that up from his shop today is because uh, something else that I ended up going out and walking out of there with was, ta-da, I got the new, the new Equinox 800. Uh, man, I, I have been, for months, I have been researching this machine pounding video after video after video doing research and just man I, I've been chomping at the bit wanting this machine I've been losing sleep over it uh, I've wanted it so bad anyways uh, I cannot wait to get this thing out in the field and try it out um, it's got your your different modes it's got four different modes actually it, technically it's got eight it's got park one Park 2, Field 1, Field 2, Beach 1, Beach 2, Gold 1, and Gold 2. It has, um, uh, what do they call that, the uh, multi-frequency, simultaneously multi-frequency settings. Plus you can go in and you can adjust those uh, frequencies to different settings for different types of metals or, or uh, hunting or prospecting that you're doing. But yeah, I thought the... You know, it's long overdue, man. I, I went ahead and I pulled the trigger on it, got it today. And I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing video with you guys here. So we can take a look and see what all we get inside the box here. I'll flip it around so I can open it up. There we go. There we go. It's got your... Uh, the carton contents, this shows you everything that's inside the box. Your arm cuff, your your armband, the module, the shafts, the coil. This one comes with an 11 inch coil. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Battery charging recommendations. That. Getting started guide quick guide this one here is in not sure what it looks like Russian or something anyways yeah it has the uh, 11 inch coil 
that comes stock with the machine. This one here, I'm probably not going to use a whole lot because uh, when I was talking to the guy, he had this machine in stock. It was ready to go when I went in there. He had it in stock, but uh, the other coil options that you can get with this machine, it comes with the 11 inch, but you can also get the 15 inch coil or the six inch coil. And I was really wanting that six inch coil, but he didn't have those in stock. He said he wouldn't get them until Tuesday. And so I'm one of those type of guys. I, I just, I have very little patience when it comes to waiting for things. So um, when I was in there talking to the guy, Joey, he actually, he brought his own personal machine out that he swings. It was the Equinox 800. And lo and behold, he had the eight, the uh, six inch coil on his machine. And bam, I talked him out of it. I said, hey man, can I just buy the one off of your machine instead of waiting until Tuesday? And the guy, he was nice enough, man. He sold me the six inch coil right off of his detector. So yeah, no waiting. Bam, so I got it. I'll be... Uh, ready to roll with it. <clears throat> okay, that's going to be the uh, arm cuff and the strap. That's our charging cable. <clears throat> this has the USB uh, charging cable. So I can either plug it into an adapter, into the wall, and then into my laptop to charge this, and then also do my updates. Um, and when it connects to the, the detector itself, it's actually, instead of plugging it in, it's just a magnet. It sticks on the back of the housing. That's what charges it. Pretty cool. This is the wireless headphone module. If I'm using a different set of headphones, other than the uh, MindLab wireless that it comes with, then that will allow me to, to do so. Uh, coils this. Wait a minute here, I got two? Oh, one's for the, one's for the headphones and one's for the detector. That's right. <clears throat> and then these are your screen protectors and they come in a series of different languages screen protector and let's see in this other box here I'm gonna have to set this down a second I'm doing this one-handed <clears throat> maybe I can get this down here one-handed get this tape for you nice I like that that's pretty cool that'd be nice to throw in the in the backpack this is the the carrying case for the wireless headphones pretty slick No, I'm not sure. Actually, now I'm looking at these because that's got a different type of connection for the charging port. It's not the magnetic like the housing on the detector itself. So, I don't know. Maybe I ended up with two of those uh, chargers for the charger cords for the detector. Where's that content, the paper that had the contents on it? Huh, that's weird. Yeah, here it's, it's got number 14, which is your USB charging cable right there. But it's only showing one. But when I opened up the box, I had two of them. Because inside this little pouch here, this is going to be the cable 
that's your charging cable for the headphones that stays contained inside the, the carrying case for the headphones anyways let's see if we can get the housing unit out of here one handed so that's the back of the machine here that's where you connect that magnet This is the connection for your coil cable where it's capped off. That's where you would run a set of hardwired headphones. Uh, this particular detector is waterproof, just like my Garrett, AT Pro, my AT Max, my AT Gold, uh, all waterproof up to um, three meters or 10 feet. So I can take this underwater, <clears throat> but I would need to get the waterless or the waterproof headphones, which I'll probably do in the, in the future, get those. And that is the front of the machine. So yeah, and then down inside the box here, we've also got the two the two shafts. But what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off a second. I'm going to get it assembled for you guys, and then we'll take another look at it. All right, guys, I got that uh, Equinox 800. We've got it all assembled. And I'll be putting it on the charger here in a little bit. So this is the new machine here. I went ahead and I put the six inch coil on it because that's the one that I want to use. I'm going to take this out in the morning. That's the 11 inch that it came with. So yeah, we got that one. That's our Equinox 800. Next to it is the, uh, it's an older machine, but it's, a, it's an oldie but a goodie. It's the Fisher F75. That's a good machine. Super fun to use. Real simple. Great for like a beginner. And then uh, that's my go-to machine. That's the one that you see in most of my videos. It's the uh, Garrett AT Pro. It's the one that I did the uh, camo dip on when I did that my dip kit. Put that in there. That wireless transmitter. I talked about that in one of the videos. That one has the uh, uh, what is it? The five by eight coil. And then in front of that is the little sniper coil. I use sometimes like in a super trashy area or uh, when I had my gold I would use that when I was out prospecting and then uh, let's go with this one here this is the AT Max the, I, I bought this one and I've used it a few times it's a good machine um, I'm happy with it I can't complain about it I have no complaints about it it's a good machine that's got the stock coil the nine inch coil on it and then the coil next to it that's also a nine inch that came off the the garrett at pro when i bought that five inch coil stuck that on there and then this is my nail attack coil that's the 15 inch coil i use that one out when i'm out in an open field and i'm looking for real deep targets or you know don't have a lot of trash or a lot of signals that's great to use in, a, in an open field. But anyway, so yeah, that's my arsenal, guys. And I just uh, included the new Mine Lab Equinox 800. Can't wait till tomorrow. I'm going to get out there and swing that thing. We'll make another video with that one and see how we do. All right, guys. Till next time.